Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. And it's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve, December 24th. I am so excited. Christmas is tomorrow. And I'm even excited about tonight because we'll be having our Christmas Eve services. We have two. We have a 5 p.m. service and a 7 p.m. service. Both services are completely identical. You're more than welcome to come. Bring your family. If you'd like to have some Christmas carols and uh, a continuation of our sermon series, which is Peace Has Come. I've really enjoyed reading our Christmas devotional for you every single day, and I'm just as equally as excited to read today's entry. It's called Grow in Favor, and our passage is Luke chapter 2, verse 52. It says, Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. You know, before John the Baptist and before Jesus began his ministry, we have this one line about Jesus's youth. Have you ever thought how a man who possesses all the knowledge and power of God increases in wisdom and in stature? Can God learn? Can God grow? Well, the Bible says that Jesus did. In fact, Philippians chapter 2 goes on to say that even though Jesus was God in every way, he didn't use his divine nature to cheat his humanity. He didn't use his power to avoid being tired or hungry. And he never played the omniscience card when he sat in school. In other words, Jesus felt that it was important to model to us the concept of learning and the importance of growing, but not just growing up and not just growing older. No, the Bible says that Jesus grew in favor with God and with others. And that was important to Jesus, and it should be important to us. Before 2020 is over and before 2021 begins, you have the opportunity to spend some time in prayer and meditation. How was your walk with God this year? Did you grow in knowledge? Are you growing in favor? Do you love God more this year than ever before? Do you love others more than ever before? Shouldn't each year of our salvation be better than the year that came before it? What can you do in this coming year to continue your growth? How can you learn more of God's Word? How can you take the steps to spend more time in prayer? Are you serving in ministry? Are you giving of your treasures to the King? Don't let this Christmas just be another passing holiday. You can make it a catalyst for change. Thanks for reading with us, and please join us tomorrow for our last installment on December 25th.